So the first card I ended up drawing was good childhood memories. And it's the memories I'm trying to give my kid that I never had. You know, that nostalgia of it all. But what came out was the eight of hearts and then the jack. So as you go into your cups, I came out with cups here and I added some swords. So you end up with your swords, your wands. As I went through this, I clarified with the four on the eight, three on the seven, seven and three, ten, ten. And carrying this through, it's the walking blind and carrying your burdens. Like I lost 15,000 in my 401k this year. Only person that would probably understand my finances and how big of a loss I took and the debt that I took, but I still pulled everything out in 2020 to still be here kicking ass and trying to take names. The whole way to do that was I had to keep that hurt in my heart. I couldn't show how much pain I've been hurting because I got to carry all these griefs and all these burdens. And I have to walk in this blind road, but I have to still go. Even with all this stuff deep down, I can't let this affect my heart. I can't let this affect my heart over here because I still got to go over here and look at the people that see me. You know, my daughters, you, your sister, your mother, you know, the people that see you, you still got to keep this shit. No matter what's hurting, you got to keep that stuff down there. And when you do that, you got these two swords over here, which your swords you keep so that people see them is your faith and hope your love, your infinity, those queens see that in you. And that's the victory, is the people that see inside of you. It's not the money, it's not the coin. When the people see inside of you, and you go through all this hurt and this pain, and this planning and this preparation inside of you, you come through this new idea and this new choice. And sometimes you have to let go of a possession, a person, a money, a job, a house, a car, a family member. Um. Now, I put the deck down at the end and flipped a card over. As I came off of this, you have the justice. With the justice, it comes in all forms of karma and anything. You know, the things eventually, someone might realize something or things come around. And that's where your ten cups is and in your justice. Letting rules and law and things just work themselves out sometimes. And you not playing a hand and just saying, hey that just happened because that person deserved for that to happen that way that's just its own joy and flow you know and with that though to get your happiness you have to go through losing these feelings in this headspace and overthinking your problems maybe and then maybe undervaluing yourself but once you go through this which was interesting how this laid with the justice then you had the ten of cups your ultimate happiness you know your supreme bliss and joy over here but when you come here you know i got this in reverse and i flipped it so it would read but moving forward you know it's those battle lines and what's weird is i had talked to you about train tracks and i ended up with these two lines and i also talked to you about a child and how the two tracks of people can really affect keeping a child on track and the balance that comes with that so i thought this was interesting how it played out to me after reading the way i did for you the other day and had that reading and i had taken some space and didn't read so i was sitting here and this deck just kind of drew me to and where my head was i needed to clarify some stuff in myself as i went through the competition and disagreement in my head about what i was upset about but well, I'm not showing so people don't see it. And even on a Friday dealing with my ex, um, it's my coin, my maintenance of my faith, my balance, you know, the design and paying attention to detail. These two coin cards, you know, to keep your balance here, um, is that life and teamwork improving skills. You know, I find that even as friends, my friends help me more than I might be helping someone that's a friend but they're really helping me more because I'm learning a lot about myself as well. So it it's a give and take. And with that, you have that self-reliance and independence, you know, the equal growth, the give and take, like I just said, which is, wasn't looking at that because I'm looking at my phone as I'm doing this to make sure I'm in the right spot. So I think 
the increasing wealth all comes back to this so this was just a quick one i just was reading myself but i figured i'd 